Hello, I'm Mr. McShane. That's me. And so I'm going to be your new principal when you start here in September. Welcome to Attleborough Academy. Hello Year 6! How are you all doing? Hope you're really well. Welcome to Attleborough Academy. Uh, I'm going to give you a tour of the school. So on your first day, this will be the way you walk. Come with me. And here we have the hall. Um, you will find seats in here normally for assemblies or you may have drama lessons or PE lessons in here. So here we have the canteen. Come this way. line the queue up ready to receive your food. Here we have a selection of hot foods, sandwiches, salad bar, lots of different cakes, drinks. Um, you would go down here, collect your food. here which is where we have our biometric service which is all requires is a thumbprint. Usually on a normal school day it would be a lot busier than this with um, all our students in here having their lunch or our packed lunch students having theirs in the um, hall next door. Obviously during this lockdown um, minimal students are here for key workers. We might see some later on today.
And through these doors is where you get changed if you're a girl and where you get changed if you're a boy. But don't worry, your PE teachers are going to be on hand to help you and advise you. Let's go and find some more of the school. In here, we've got some of our key worker students today. creative work
at the construction site going on. Over here we've got the new art buildings, we've got the new drama studio and we've got all the um, re reception area and all of the student support area as well. This may or may not be open by the time you come here, depends on how the next few weeks pan out. Um, this pathway will give you access to the humanities block which is where we're now going to go. Follow me. Barton building. In here you'll find lessons like geography, history, RS, citizenship, steps for success, uh, French, German and all the humanities subjects. Come down the corridor and have a look.
dressing room. This is where you'll cook all your yummy dinners.
you'll come to end of school, you'll either go up to the buses or go home and also this is the way down to the playground and the playing field. These red doors are where the student support is as well if we haven't moved over to our new build. So if you're unsure about anything, feel lost, worried or concerned, come here and we'll help you. And finally, welcome to my office. Hopefully you'll be coming in here for good things to see me. I just wanted to set out a few things just to reassure you before you start the school about what this school's about. And this school is based upon one word really, and that word is in front of me, and that word is CARE. And we use CARE as an acronym for what we call our core values. And our core values are the things that we believe in, all of us in school, all the time. The C stands for commitment, which for you really means work hard. And when we say work hard, we do mean work hard. 
The A stands for acknowledgement, which means when anybody does good things, we praise them. We're really happy for them because they're on our team. The R stands for respect. And respect really is about being kind. The E stands for excellence. We don't believe there's any point in doing anything unless you're going to do it really, really well. So together that word care stands for everything we believe in. But really the two that I want to point out are the C and the R. The C standing for work hard, the R standing for be kind. Because I believe work hard and be kind is the biggest thing we can educate you in for your life. If you always re work really hard and you're kind to people, you're not going to go very far wrong in life. The other thing I want to emphasise is that we're set up in what we call vertical tutor groups. And that means you'll have a tutor in school, but you won't just be the only Year 7 in school. You'll have about five or six other Year 7s in your form. You'll then have five or six Year 8s, five or six Year 9s, and five or six Year 10s. The Year 11s we actually split off into what we call grow groups. And we'll talk about a little bit about that in a minute. So your form really will be made up of some year 7s, some year 8s, some year 9s and some year 10s. So it's a little bit like a family. And the idea is that you've got older brothers and sisters there to help you and support you. On top of the shop will be some of the year 10s who are called prefects. And they'll wear that tie there, the blue one. Which is a little bit different from the normal tie that you will wear. So year 10 prefects, they help the form tutor run the form. And you'll go to your forms every morning for registration. But straight away you'll be able to see somebody wearing a blue tie in your form who you know has got a bit of responsibility. So if you're at all worried, you can go to them for support. The other tie I've got here is the purple tie, and that's worn by senior prefects. And you'll see senior prefects around at break time, at lunch time, doing duties. And they're there also to help you and support you. So if you're at all worried about where you're going for the next lesson, you can just ask a prefect. There are other big people walking around with their normal clothes on and they're called sixth form. But don't worry about them either, they're all really, really friendly. The basic rule is if you want to know, you're worried about something, you don't know where something is, you ask. And if I'm walking down the corridor, you ask me. But we always say please and thank you. So I just wanted to welcome you again, just to reassure you, that all those things that sometimes you hear about moving up to secondary school often don't happen. We don't have bullying. Bullying is always uh, commented on here as very, very rare. So don't worry about bullying. We will deal with bullies if they come and they won't be here for very long. So hopefully we've given you a little bit of a tour today. We've given you a little bit of a reassurance about you coming to Ashborough in September. And I hope you're very much looking forward to it. We certainly are looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.